Hi everyone, Joe for, ja Joe for Jaspies Hobbyland.com, waving around a filler card. 2017-18, Upper Deck, SP Authentic Hockey, four box, random team break, number eight. Our last four boxes in the store, this is it. That's it right there. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. We'll double you up like Sir Mix-a-Lot. Uh, double up, uh, uh. Wild Lightning are comboed up to make 30. Let's roll the dice and randomize each list six and a four, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. After 10 times, we've got Rich down to Paul. All right, six and a four, 10 times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. After 10 times, we've got the Las Vegas Golden Knights on top and the Red Wings on the bottom. All right, so Rich with the Las Vegas Golden Knights, Will with the Oilers, Ashley with the Penguins, Ashley, you also have the Rangers, Will, uh, Sharks and Caps, Cruz with the Devils, Derek with the Panthers, Todd with one of your last spot mojos, Dallas Stars, Rich, Islanders, Flames, Will with the Kings, Paul with the Canadiens, Ashley with the Canucks, Rich with the Sabres, Paul with the Coyotes, Ashley with the Hurricanes, Rich with the Flyers, Cruz with the Bruins, Predators for Derek, Todd, your other last spot mojo, Winnipeg Jets, Ashley with the combo spot, Wild Lightning, Rich with the Blue Jackets, Cruz with the Senators, uh, Paul with the Blues, Will, Maple Leaves, Ducks, Cruz, Blackhawks, Ashley, Avalanche, and Paul with the Detroit Red Wings. So let's sort by team. Feel free to trade, folks. They speak moose. Yeah. Special language. Here's all the boxes marked RT8. Any trades? I don't, I don't see any trades in the chat. We'll give it a few more seconds. Maybe people are thinking. All right, let's close up that trade window. Looks like it's not happening. People are too too scared. Too scared to trade. Trade window closed. If you are in the chat, you would know what that means. If you're just watching the video replay, you're like, that's kind of weird. But hey, we do weird things here sometimes. It gets weird. It got weird. It got weird, didn't it? All right, good luck, my little Jaspies. Thanks for getting into this break. If you want to do the uh, the bounty, go to that website right there. You'll get all the details. All right, there's the final list right here for the for a Thursday. Looks exactly the same as what you saw on your previous screen. Good luck to everybody. Here we go. Um, I've been now not a, not a hockey expert. I'm afraid. I enjoy I enjoy doing this. I enjoy watching it. Just not not close to being an expert, or not as close to knowing as much about this. Some other sports like football, basketball, baseball. But I've been told that we've pulled nice stuff out of here. So we got that Brock guy who's on the box. People like people like him. Pull some other nice stuff. So I'll take the word of our our, our Jaspie community. When they say, hey, those, those are some nice, nice cases. 
These are our last four boxes for the time being. We'll try to get some more. I always, I always like to have a little bit of hockey on the site for our, uh, our small hockey contingent here. I think SP in general, yeah, SP in general has been nice, right, Rich? I feel like there's been some nice stuff here. It's a cleaner look from last year. I like the design. Nice, clean, modern design in this one. Good photography as usual. Nice colors, nice hits. That bouncy game seems to be fun. I gotta check that out. All right. All right, good luck, boys and girls. Breeze through these. Look for the big hits. There's Ovechkin. And Future Watch. Overwatch? Future Watch. Spectrum FX Level 1. That's Alex Foreman. Formenton. 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 That goes to. It's been a long day already. Cruise with the Senators. There's Gabriel Lanskog, Spectrum FX. That goes to the Avs. Ashley with the Avs. So you can scratch that off and bounties. John Gibson, red, short print, along with Tuca. And this half here. There's a cyborg, my favorite cyborg, Yarmir Yager. Definitely a cyborg. Some autographs would be nice out of here. I feel like we're getting close to the end of the box. And no autos. Oh, there's one. Clayton Keller. For good things about Clayton Keller, right? 940 out of 999 for the Arizona Coyotes. Paul Cool Whitlock with that one. Cool Whit. Maybe one more. Yep. Yeah. Brendan Lemieux. 64 out of 999 for Winnipeg. That goes to the Todd Father with the Winnipeg Jets. Future Watch. And Connor McDavid. All right. Next box. Random teammate. Good luck, everyone. Wait. Did I miss, is that black? I guess it is, yeah. Wait, that's, so this is just the king's color, right? Is that the black? I can't really tell, I guess. Trying to look for another oiler. So are the colors different? I don't know. We'll we'll set we'll set it aside anyway. All right. Next box.
Yeah, we'll, we'll find out. We'll we'll find a comparison. If that's what the if that's what the super short print print uh, black look like, that's gonna make it very difficult to figure out the differences. How would you know if there was like a king player that was a black uh, a black uh, short print? Now the, those red ones that we see often that have been sitting aside, those are like one out of every six packs or something like that. The black ones are super short printed and that, that's somewhat unknown. Yeah, if, the, if, we, if I see another Oilers card, we can, we can compare. Okay, good luck everybody. Let's go to the next box. And sign of the times autograph, Jacob Truba. Winnipeg Jets, the Todd father with another one. He's heating up. There's Anze Kopitar, Spectrum FX. Kings, Will Bartle. Oh, see, the Oilers. Yeah, they're not, I guess they're not blue. Oh, Mike Tower looked it up for us. So there's a Henrik Sedin black on eBay. Oh, the entire card is black. Actually, I want to I want to look that up in case. I mean, I'm sure. Yeah, I was gonna say. Well, there's probably no way we'd be able to miss that, right? Is it undersold? I don't. I don't see it at the moment. But so you're saying you're saying it's the entire card. Is, oh, there it is. I'm f switching screens really quick. There you go. It looks like that. So there you go. Yeah. So the entire card is black. That's pre that's a pretty cool look. Now we have we have yet to see. I mean, we've seen plenty of the red ones, but we have yet to see yet to see a black parallel. Now I want now I want to find one. And Josh Ho Sang, the Great White North. I think we had his autograph before. He is a Islander, maybe? Yes. New York Islanders. That'll go to Rich. Rich with the Islanders. Is Landers. 
There you go. And John Gillies, I think, out of 990, 999, 261 out of 999. Future Watch, going to Rich. He's heating up. And the Calgary Flames, Yoga Flame. Two boxes to go. So a lot of, pulling a lot of nice hits here. So hopefully there's more in here. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, you like the Yoga Flame reference? A lot of references on this show, folks. A lot of references. I'm like the family guy of breakers. <laughs> Except we don't have cutaway jokes. We should, though. Yeah, I'll bet it is, Mike. To Mike Towers, like, yeah, the McDavid Black Limited Auto is also a very sweet looking card. So, so there could be autographs on those parallels, too? I'll take that. That'd be awesome. Andy's saying that the 93 SP Derek Jeter PSA 10 end up signed for $100,000. Jeez. I want to have, like, I want to I want to have that kind of money. That, that The kind of money where it says, I've got everything, you know, and so now I can pay $100,000 for a 93 SP Jeter PSA 10. You know, that's like that's like having like that's like having face tattoo money, like neck tattoo money. I want neck tattoo money. That that just tells you, hey, that guy never has to work a straight job ever. You know what I mean? God, the guy doesn't have to work a straight job ever again, cause he's got a neck tattoo. I'd be like, I get a neck tattoo. I'd be like, yep, cause I'm rich. B is what I'd say, Chappelle style. That's what the that's what the neck tattoo says. As a man of independent means, he's got a neck tattoo and he's buying hundred thousand dollar Jeter rookie cards. Uh, yeah. There is Sam Gerard, future watch for the Avs. Uh, Ashley with that one. Spectrum FX, Phil Kessel, Kessel Run, right? How many parsecs? 12? 14? This is why I failed at Star Wars trivia. There was some amount of parsecs, some distance. Taylor Swift, Landskog. Sounds like a good drink. I'd like a Landskog. Your, your finest Landskog, please. Patrick Lyon, eh? Twelve, says Andy.
Charlie McAvoy. 363 out of 999. Future Watch. Bruins. Cruz. With the Boston Bruins. And Samuel Gerard, this time an autograph out of 999 for Ashley and the Avs. There you go, Ashley. And Mark Andre Fleury. Last box coming up, folks. What should we do after this? I don't see, oh, I see one order coming in. I'm not sure, doesn't tell me what we're gonna do the rest of the evening. We've got, oh, maybe a little under a couple hours to go. Andy, I feel like you would weigh in on this. Uh, Andy Garner, were you, were you here last time when we were talking about cyborgs? Someone's watching the Jaspers hobby for the first time. They're like talking about cyborgs. A bunch of weirdos. You hear that? Jaspers talking about cyborgs. Were you here for a cyborg conversation? I'm not sure if Andy was here for a cyborg conversation. Other people can weigh in too. Um, you probably logged off before that. Uh, should cyborgs and he'd be allowed to play professional sports. Basketball, baseball, hockey, soccer, football. And what percentage of their body can be bionic before you say no? Oh, was that a plot of a Twilight Zone episode? A robot pitcher? Yeah, at what point do you say you're, uh, is there a rule that you have to be a human to play baseball? I mean, with a bionic arm, I'd still be a human, right? What are the what are the implications of that? What if what what if what if Clayton Kershaw, in a terrible accident, knock on wood, what if Clayton Kershaw gets his his prized left arm chopped off, but due to modern technology, he was able to construct a bionic arm. You know, pops on a bionic arm, and then he's he's ready to pitch again. Is that allowed? Can he come back and play baseball? Would they make a Clayton Kershaw rule? No cyborgs allowed, you know? Would there be cyborg discrimination? Are we discriminating against cyborgs? Okay, so in the Twilight Zone episode, Mike Tyler saying that they, they said he had to have a heart. They installed a, some sort of a heart or a ticker, I get it. And he didn't want to compete and beat other teams after that, I see. So, I don't know. At what point, how much of the uh, a person's body would have to be bionic before you're just like, nah, no way. Competitive advantage, it's not fair. These are the things I think about, folks, before I go to sleep. When I And when I see Yarmy or Yager cards, and that dude's like 55 years old, you know, there he is right there. This guy's a cyborg. They're letting him play in the NHL. When will the madness stop, folks? At what point do we say do we say no to cyborgs? Tell me, ladies and gentlemen, would you be on the yes side of cyborgs or the no side of cyborgs? Are we going 100% human, that's it? Maybe. Maybe that's the way to go. Level 3, Kyler Yamamoto. I think this is the first level 3 Spectrum FX I've seen. For Edmonton, that goes to Will Bartle. Where there's a will, there's a way. I'm assuming that's going to be a nice hit. Patrick Waugh, Spectrum FX for the Canadiens. That'll be for Paul. And so will this one right here, that parallel. That'll be the big issue facing us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> not world hunger, not poverty, not global warming or global climate change or whatever you want to call it. 
No, it'll be it'll be what to do with cyborgs in professional sports. There's Owen Tibbet at a nine ninety nine. The tipping point going to Derek and the Florida Panthers. Are there Panthers in Florida? That doesn't say Dennis. Denise Gurinov. 513 out of 999 for the Dallas Stars. That goes to the Todd Father and his other last spot mojo spot. There you go, Todd. All right, the last bit, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Authentic moments. And that's that, ladies and gentlemen. No randomizers to do, no nothing. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time for more hockey, more basketball, all the other sports. We'll have a lot of fun with this, as we usually do. We like to have fun here. So thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.